Yes, yes, welcome in everyone. It's the one Bernard Bachelor. Please keep being safe. Please be nice to each other. On the heels of yesterday's video, many views, some comments. So what I decided to do today was I did preset the cards, but not to show the results and win or lose, but to be sure I could show more hands and more possibilities that may, you may come up against or you will come up against at the blackjack table. And before we get going any further, I want to predict right now that Angelo will jump up on this table at some point before I finish. Okay, that's even money, by the way. Let's go. 13. Now, the recipe we're following, this is always a 10. So 19, we have to hit 13 against 19. If you're going to follow a recipe, you have to follow it. 13 against a 5. If you hit, you could bust. The dealer has to hit. We stay and let the dealer bust. 13 stays against the 5 up. Aces. Always split aces. 10. 10 against an 8. We, yes, we double down. 10s. 30.8% of the time cards coming. The correct play is to double down with 10 against an 8 up. That's good. We need to take advantage of hands when we can as we play the basic strategy. Ace 4. 5 or 15 against an 8. We will continue to hit this until we get to at least 17 because we figure the dealer has 18. 8 against a 6. We're going to hit this, but once we get to 12 or higher, we'll stay because the dealer has to hit and we're going to let the dealer bust. Pair of threes against a 10. Oh, we'd like to split pairs when we can, but in this case, if we split threes, we may very well end up with two 13s against a 20. So we're going to play it as six, hit the hand, and take our medicine. Pair of jacks, 20. Do ne never split 20. Pair of jacks is tempting against a five. Don't do it. Be happy with 20. We don't mess with 20. 11. Always double with 11. Yes, that's an ace up. Always double with 11. 13 against a queen. This is 20. Our 13 is no good against 20. We have to hit. 16 against a 6. Let's let the dealer bust. Yes, I'm going to say it once. One out of 13 times. This could be an ace under there. But the basic strategy is 16 stays against a 6 up. 12 against a 3. Close comment controversy on this, but my thinking in this recipe is we could bust if we hit, and the dealer must hit. Let's let him bust. 12 stays against a 3 up. Pair of jacks, 20 against a queen. Don't mess with 20. Never mess with 20. Let's keep it moving. Did I say never mess with 20? Never mess with 20. Pair of eights. Always split eights. 14 against 19. Our 14 is no good. We have to hit 14 against the 9. Remember, the down card for the deal is always a 10 in our recipe. 17. 17, the hard 17 that is. You have to stay there. If you were to hit this and catch a card and win, as we had kind of said before, there will be an, a, an investigation launched. <laughs> All right. Next hand. Pair of threes against a five. We didn't split threes against a ten, but we're going to split threes here because even if we end up with two thirteens, that's okay because the dealer has 15 and he has to hit. So we're actually playing this hand to maximize our opportunity, expecting the dealer is going to bust. What we catch for cards isn't as important as the fact that the dealer has a five up. 43% of the time, three out of seven times, when the dealer has a five showing, he will bust. And as this basic strategy we play, one of the keys is to take advantage of the opportunities we have to increase our winnings. What else would we call it, right? Winnings, yes. All right. 12 against a four. Okay. 12 against 14, we could bust. The dealer has to hit, we let the dealer bust. 12 stays against the 4-up. Pair of 7s, nice. 
we're not going to hit 14 or stay with 14. In this case, we're splitting these. And even if we don't get to 17 on either one of these, if we get to 12 or more, we're going to stay because the dealer has to hit and we figure him for 13. Pair of sevens absolutely splits against the three. Pair of queens, that's 20. Do not split them. Don't mess with 20. Pair of nines. 18's a nice hand, but in this case, we need to maximize our opportunities. Even if we don't make 19 or get a juicy card, the dealer has to hit. Absolutely split nines against the six. Up. 10. There we go. We're going to double down with 10 against a four. All those face cards, all those high cards to give us a juicy total. Never mind the fact that no matter what card we get, the dealer still has to hit. We figure he has 14, and he's going to bust. Absolutely double with a total of 10 against a 4-up. 10 for you against a 10. We're not going to double down on this because if we double our bet, the best we're probably going to do is 20, which would only give us a push. So we're just going to play it as 10 and take our chance for one bet, not two. That just flew up. 11, always double with 11. Aces, always split aces. In case I haven't mentioned that, I think I did once before. 13 against a 4. Perfect, nice example. 14. If we hit 13, we could bust. We know the dealer has to hit. Let's let him bust. 15 against a 9. 19. Ah, 15 is no good. We have to hit 15 against the 9. -up. Pair of 4s. Oh, it would be nice to split those, but not with a 9-up, because that might give us two 14s trying to go up against 19. So let's just play it as 8 and see what happens. 16 against a 5. Nice example. Let the deal a bust. He's got 15. We could bust if we hit. Definitely stay with 16 against the 5 -up. Pair of tens, it's 20 against a six, tempting to double, do not. Never split, never mess with 20. Don't split even if they're a pair. Never mess with 20. Pair of sixes against a seven. Sometimes it's nice to split those, but if we were to split those and end up with two 16s, we now have to play two hands against 17. So we're just gonna play it as 12 and play against 17. 12 against an 8. Our 12 is no good against 18. We have to hit. 17. Again, the lowest hard hand total you can have. You have to stay. No investigations. Stay with a hard 17 no matter what. Pair of threes against an 8. Nice. We didn't split them against a 10. We split them against a 6, I think it was, or a 4. But we're not going to split them against an 8 because if we end up with two 13s, we're now playing 13 against 18. We're going to play it as 6 against one hand of 18. 10, pair of 5s. Never split 5s. <laughs> 5 and 5 is 10. If we're going to make any play, which in this case we are going to double down, we're going to double down with 10 to make 20. We're not going to split them and get two 15s to play against the 7. Absolutely double down with a pair of 5s against the 7, or any total of 10 against the 7. 10 against the face caught up. The best we're going to do is make 20. So we're not going to double our bet to make a push. We're going to play it as 10 and see what happens. Do not double with 10 against the face caught. Here reduces against an ace. We're not going to split those and try to get it against an ace. If I remember correctly, if the dealer has an ace up, only one out of six times or 16% times will he bust. So the last thing we're going to do is split these and end up with a couple of 12s or 13s or whatever, hoping he busts because that's not going to happen. We're going to play it as four and just see what happens. 13 against an ace. Whenever the dealer has an ace up, we treat it the same as a 10. So in this case, we think this is 20. We absolutely have to hit 13 against a 20. 20. Never mess with 20. Pair of fours, we're going to play that as eight, because once again, if we were to split those and end up with two 14s, we're playing 14s against a 20. Let's play it as eight 
one hand and see what happens. All right. Pair of fives. Never split fives. We're going to play it as 10. And because there's that 30.8% of the cards that are face cards and even more with aces, we would absolutely double down with a pair of fives against a nine. We wouldn't split them and play two 15s. We're going to play 10 against a nine. Absolutely double down with a pair of fives against a nine up. Ace five against an eight. We're going to hit this and play this till we get to at least 17 because we figure the dealer has 18. 11, always double down with 11. 12, we're gonna stay with 12 against a five because if we hit, we could bust and we know the dealer has to hit and three out of seven times, he will bust with a five showing. Absolutely stay with a total of 12 when the dealer's showing a five. 12 against a 7, different story. The dealer has 17. We have to hit 12 till we get to at least 17 because that's what we figure the dealer has. 11, always double down with 11. Yep, that's an ace, always double down with 11. Paradoxes against a 4. Here's where we do want to split these because even if we end up with two 12s, the dealer has to hit. He's got probably 14. More than we are banking on what we're going to get splitting our deuces, we're banking on the mathematical value to increase our winnings and our action that the dealer will bust with a four up. Couple hands to go, everybody. We're almost there. Oh, ace nine. 20. Not 10, double down. 20. Don't mess with 20. That's a nice hand, ace nine. All right. 12 against a seven. 17. We have to hit the 12. Seven, 12 is no good against a 17. Last one. Last two to go. Five, a three and a two. We have to hit five, especially against the face cut, till we get to at least 17. Last hand, pair of aces, always split aces. All right, everybody, be good to each other. Thank you for viewing. I'm just trying to teach and help and share the knowledge, and I was wrong. My boy Angelo did not make an appearance, but we're going to get a quick shot of him right now laying in his box. All right, love you, bud. That's it, Jim. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.